Hello, I'm Dr. Paul Cieslak, Medical Director for the Oregon Immunization Program. I wanted to reach out and remind you to use or continue using the National Vaccine Adverse Events Reporting System, otherwise known as VAERS. For those who don't know, VAERS is a national early warning system to detect potential safety problems in U.S. licensed vaccines. The primary objectives of VAERS are to detect new, unusual, or rare adverse events after vaccination, to monitor increases in known adverse events, to identify potential patient risk factors for particular types of adverse events, to assess the safety of newly licensed vaccines, to find and address local or temporal clusters of events that might indicate, for example, problems with a specific batch of vaccine to recognize persistent problems with safe usage of vaccine and administration errors, to provide a national safety monitoring system for the U.S. population for response to public health emergencies like a large-scale vaccination program during a pandemic. Keep in mind that because a health event followed vaccination, it wasn't necessarily caused by the vaccination. VAERS is not designed to determine whether a vaccine was the cause of a reported health problem. Rather, it helps to flag unusual or unexpected patterns of adverse events associated with a vaccine. After such events are flagged, other systems that can compare incidences of the events in vaccinated and unvaccinated people are used to determine cause and effect. While anyone can choose to report to VAERS, there are a few cases in which healthcare providers and vaccine manufacturers are required to report. These include any adverse event listed in the Federal Department of Health and Human Services VAERS Table of Reportable Events Following Vaccination, which you can find online, that occurs within the specified time period after a given vaccination. Any adverse event listed by the vaccine manufacturer as a contraindication to further doses of the vaccine. And, for vaccine manufacturers, all adverse events that come to their attention. In addition to the required categories, healthcare providers are strongly encouraged to report any adverse events that occurs after the administration of a vaccine licensed in the United States, whether or not it seems that the vaccine caused the adverse event, and vaccine administration errors. As new COVID-19 vaccines are authorized for use, it becomes more important to monitor safety. And like other vaccines, in a few situations, healthcare providers are required to report. These include vaccine administration errors, whether or not associated with an adverse event, serious adverse events, regardless of causality. Serious adverse events are defined as death, a life-threatening adverse event, an event leading to inpatient hospitalization or pro prolongation of an existing hospitalization a persistent or significant incapacity or substantial disruption of the ability to conduct normal life functions, a congenital anomaly or birth defect, an important medical event that because on appropriate medical judgment may jeopardize the individual and may require medical or surgical intervention to prevent one of the outcomes that I just mentioned, cases of multi-system inflammatory syndrome, and cases of COVID-19 after vaccination that result in hospitalization or death. Healthcare providers are encouraged to report any clinically significant adverse event vaccination, even if they're not sure whether the vaccination caused it. I also want to mention another system that was created just for COVID-19 vaccinations, vSafe. vSafe is a new smartphone-based app for communicating with COVID-19 vaccine recipients after vaccination. VSAFE uses text messaging and web surveys from CDC to check in with recipients following COVID-19 vaccination. VSAFE also provides second dose reminders if needed and telephone follow-up to anyone who reports medically significant adverse events. Adverse events disclosed to VSAFE are reported to VAERS. Given these utilities of VSAFE, we ask that providers encourage vaccine recipients to enroll in it. The work you do to report adverse events through the VAERS system has a direct impact on the safety and confidence we can have in our vaccine supply. Accurate, complete, and timely reporting provides information vital for vaccine safety monitoring and research. 
To learn more about VAERS, including how to report and how to access database information, visit vaers.hhs.gov. Their series of training videos and general FAQs are especially useful.